The Extraordinary Adventure of Little Lama Leon Once upon a time, in a beautiful remote village, there was a little llama named Leon. Leon had soft and silky fur, shining bright and white. He lived peacefully with his mother Rosa and his father Carlos on a small farm. But just like children his age, Leon dreamed of new adventures and fascinating discoveries. One day, Leon gathered all his courage and said to his parents, I want to go on an adventure. I want to explore the vast world beyond our little farm. His parents, worried about their little llama, explained to him the dangers that awaited him. But faced with Leon's determination, they decided to trust him. So, Leon prepared his bag with everything he would need for his trip and left, leaving a small note for his parents, promising to come back one day. He walked for days and days, crossing mysterious forests and green fields, discovering breathtaking landscapes and strange animals. After several weeks of walking, Leon arrived in front of an imposing mountain. He thought that climbing it would be an incredible adventure. So he started climbing, holding tightly onto the rocks and branches. The snowy peaks seemed to be getting closer, little by little. Finally, after many efforts, Leon reached the summit and understood that the beauty of the world was worth all these challenges. Descending from the mountain, Leon found himself in front of a gigantic sparkling blue lake. Colourful fish were swimming joyfully, while majestic swans gracefully floated on the water. Leon decided to learn a little more about them and spent the rest of the day observing their aquatic dance. Continuing his journey, Leon arrived in the savannah where he encountered a family of lions. At first, Leon was afraid, but as he talked with them, he realised that they were gentle and protective creatures despite their intimidating appearance. Fascinated by their way of life, Leon stayed with them for a few days, learning their language and playing with the lion cubs. Time was passing, and Leon wondered if he should go back home. But he remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and the friends he had made along the way. He realised that he wanted to continue exploring and experiencing new adventures. This is how Leon met an old sage who told him, Young Lama, you have walked a long path and achieved great things. Now it is time for you to go back home and share your stories with others, so that they too can dream and be inspired by your adventures. Leon understood then that adventures were not limited to what he experienced, but also to what he shared. He thought it would be wonderful to return to his village and tell his stories to all the children, to awaken in them a taste for adventure. Back in his village, Leon was joyfully welcomed by his parents, family and friends. He organised a grand evening where he recounted all his extraordinary adventures. The children listened attentively, their eyes sparkling with stars. They, in turn, inspired new heroes for future adventures. And that's how Leon the Lama became a hero, not only for having lived incredible experiences, but also for having shared his story with the whole world. And who knows, perhaps one day a child would take over and embark on an adventure following in Leon's footsteps, leaving an indelible mark in the hearts of future children. The Extraordinary Journey of Simba Across the World to Discover the Wonders of the World Once upon a time, there was Simba, a brave and curious young lion, who lived in the African savannah. Since a very young age, he dreamed of exploring the vast world around him. One day, driven by his insatiable thirst for adventure, Simba made the decision to leave his home and set off to discover new horizons. 
his journey began in London, where Simba was amazed by the majestic monuments such as the Tower of London and Buckingham Palace, and fascinated by the beauty of the English language. But he knew that other wonders awaited him. Thus, he went to Greenland, where the vast expanses of ice and the northern lights made his heart beat. Then he headed towards New York, the city that never sleeps. As he contemplated the impressive skyscrapers and strolled through Central Park, Simba felt small but amazed by the energy of the American metropolis. His next stop was Mexico where he was amazed by the Aztec pyramids and the vibrant colours of Mexican culture. Then it was off to Rio de Janeiro, where he got caught up in the rhythm of samba and plunged into the warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean. After this exploration of America, Simba decided to return to his native lands, Africa. He marveled at the majestic herds of giraffes, the immense elephants, and the impetuous crocodiles. He joined in the songs and tribal dances of the villages and discovered the exotic flavors of African cuisine. Simba's next destination was Sydney, Australia. He was amazed by the Sydney Opera House and the famous Bondi beaches. He met koalas, kangaroos, and other iconic animals of this country. Taking flight towards the east, he finally arrived at the Great Wall of China, one of the wonders of the world. Simba wandered through this immense monument for hours, which reminded him of the strength and courage he had gained throughout his journey. Simba's last stop was Moscow, Russia. He discovered the splendid Orthodox churches and majestic palaces of the Russian capital. He marveled at the ballets of the Bolshoi Theatre and let himself be carried away by traditional music. In the end, Simba returned to his starting point, Paris. He wandered through the romantic streets and tasted the delightful French desserts. He strolled along the Seine and discovered the magic of the sparkling Eiffel Tower in the night sky. After travelling the world, Simba was filled with invaluable experiences, knowledge and memories. He understood that beyond all the wonders he had discovered, true wealth was found within himself. And so, he returned to his home in Africa, ready to share his adventures with his family and friends and to pass on his passion for exploring the world to future generations. Las aventuras extraordinarias de Pampan en Boisvert Había una vez, en el hermoso bosque de Boisvert, un pequeño conejo llamado Pampan. Pampan Pan era un conejo muy curioso y aventurero, siempre en busca de descubrimientos y nuevas aventuras. Un día, mientras paseaba por el bosque, escuchó un grito de auxilio. Se dirigió de inmediato hacia la fuente del ruido y descubrió una pequeña tortuga atrapada en una trampa. Sin dudarlo, Pampan Pan comenzó a cavar y liberó a la tortuga. Agradecida, la tortuga le dijo... Muchas gracias, Pan Pan. Eres un verdadero héroe. Pan Pan se ruborizó de placer y le sonrió. Juntos decidieron embarcarse en una aventura y recorrer el bosque de Boisvert. Durante su viaje se encontraron con una familia de ardillas que les señalaron un camino secreto que los llevó a una misteriosa cueva. Intrigados, Pan Pan y la tortuga decidieron explorar la cueva. En su interior, descubrieron un tesoro resplandeciente de joyas y monedas de oro. Pero de repente, un dragón surgió y les bloqueó el camino. Pan Pan y la tortuga tuvieron que mostrar valentía e ingenio para escapar del dragón. 
gracias a su astucia, lograron salir de la cueva ilesos. Continuaron su viaje y se encontraron con una familia de conejos que los invitó a compartir un festín en su madriguera. Pan Pan y la tortuga estaban encantados con este encuentro cálido y pasaron una noche inolvidable bailando y cantando con sus nuevos amigos. A la mañana siguiente reanudaron su camino con el corazón ligero y lleno de maravillosos recuerdos. Mientras cruzaban un río tumultuoso, Pam Pam vio una rana en apuros. Sin dudarlo, saltó al agua para rescatarla. La rana, agradecida, los acompañó hasta la salida del bosque. Una vez afuera, Pam Pam y la tortuga se voltearon para despedirse de sus amigos del bosque de Boisver. Cada uno se fue por su lado, con los ojos brillantes y el corazón lleno de alegría. Pam Pam se dio cuenta de que era la amistad y el valor los que habían guiado sus increíbles aventuras. Gracias a sus amigos y a su determinación, había vivido momentos inolvidables y mágicos. El pequeño conejo regresó a casa, feliz y agradecido por todos los maravillosos encuentros y aventuras que habían marcado su camino. Y sabía que no había terminado de vivir historias extraordinarias en el bosque de Boisvert. Maurice the Sheep in Kangaroo Land, an unforgettable adventure in Australia. Once upon a time, in a beautiful green meadow, there was a sheep named Maurice. Maurice was a very curious and adventurous sheep. One fine day, he decided to go on an adventure to visit Australia, a country he had heard about for a long time. Maurice started his journey in the famous city of Sydney. Fascinated by the skyscrapers, the beautiful beaches, and the famous opera house, he couldn't contain his joy. He strolled through the bustling streets of the city and discovered the unique architecture. After exploring Sydney, Maurice headed towards the vast Australian desert. The heat was intense. But Maurice didn't get discouraged. He met kangaroos and emus on his way. He jumped for joy as he saw them leaping in the vast desert expanses. Far from the desert, Maurice decided to venture into the dense forests of Australia. There, he encountered sleeping koalas in the trees and brilliantly colored birds singing cheerfully. Maurice felt at ease in the serenity of the surrounding nature. After his adventures in the forest, Maurice headed towards the Australian coast. He loved hearing the sound of the waves and feeling the fresh sea air. He went for a swim in the ocean and made friends with playful dolphins. Maurice was amazed by the beauty of the marine life he was discovering. While walking along the coast, Maurice noticed a group of surfers riding the waves. He was captivated by their agility and balance. Maurice decided to try it himself. He managed to stand up on the board and glide on the water, thus experiencing an unforgettable moment. After this incredible adventure on the waves, Maurice met a lonely old lighthouse guarding a hidden treasure, a treasure map. Maurice was determined to find it. After a long search, he discovered the precious treasure. But Maurice, being generous, decided to share his loot with his new kangaroo friends. The kangaroos were so grateful that they invited Maurice to a party in their secret kingdom. Maurice happily accepted. He found himself surrounded by kangaroos, happily tapping their feet to the rhythm of the music. Maurice danced and laughed uproariously. After this incredible kangaroo party, it was time for Maurice to go back home. 
He knew he would leave behind a magnificent Australia and amazing friends, but he was happy to reunite with his green meadow and his sheep buddies. Morris kept in mind all the adventures he had experienced in Australia. He constantly shared his stories with his sheep friends, who in turn dreamed of visiting this distant country. Morris had fulfilled his dream by exploring Australia, and he hoped that other animals could also live such adventures one day. The Magical Journey of Pablo the Panda, Exploring the North Pole Once upon a time, there was a kind little panda named Pablo. Pablo lived in a beautiful bamboo forest, surrounded by his friends, the other animals of the jungle. One day, Pablo decided to embark on an adventure and discover new places. This is how he gathered his courage and set off to explore the North Pole. During his journey, Pablo encountered many animals and made new friends. He came across majestic reindeer, mischievous penguins, and curious polar bears. As he continued his journey, Pablo had the idea to make a sled with the help of his new friends. They used branches and leaves to build it. Pablo was so happy with his sled, he felt ready to fly like the wind. On the way, Pablo and his friends noticed big snowflakes beginning to fall from the sky. It was the first time Pablo had ever seen snow. He was so excited that he jumped in the air and cried out in joy. His friends laughed heartily, happy to see Pablo so amazed. As they continued to move forward, Pablo and his friends noticed a huge iceberg floating nearby. Intrigued, they decided to approach it to get a closer look. But suddenly, Pablo's sled got stuck between two pieces of ice. They were trapped. Pablo and his friends tried their best to free the sled, but in vain. Suddenly, a seal emerged from the water and saw their distress. It decided to help them by pushing the sled with its nose. Thanks to the seal's valuable assistance, the sled was cleared and Pablo was able to continue his journey. Finally, after a long journey, Pablo and his friends arrived at the North Pole. They were amazed by the beauty of the landscape, with its ice expanses and shimmering northern lights in the sky. But they were also surprised to discover that there was another panda living here. The panda's name was Li Wei, and he was the guardian of the North Pole. He told Pablo and his friends how he made sure everything was in harmony in this magical region. Former inhabitant of the bamboo forest where Pablo lived, Li Wei was happy to see a friend from his old home again. Li Wei decided to show Pablo and his friends the hidden wonders of the North Pole. They visited ice caves, explored snowy landscapes, and even met Santa Claus with his elves. Pablo felt truly lucky to have been able to discover such a fantastic place. After days of exploring and enjoying themselves, it was time for Pablo and his friends to go back home. They said goodbye to Li Wei and the other animals of the North Pole, grateful for the unforgettable memories they had created together. The return was just as exciting with fast sled rides and slides on the snowy slopes. Finally, Pablo arrived home in his bamboo forest. He told his friends all about the incredible moments he'd experienced and insisted that he had never forgotten his true home. And so, Pablo the Panda, bound by friendship and adventure, continued to live new stories with his friends in the jungle. But every time he watched the snow fall from the sky, he remembered the wonderful journey he had taken to the North Pole and smiled. Teddy Bear Conquering Paris An Adventure of Friendship and Perseverance Once upon a time, there was a teddy bear named Teddy who lived in a cosy little house alongside his best friend, Ethan. Teddy was a loyal companion who never left Ethan's side, whether it was to play, sleep, or go on adventures. One day, as Ethan was packing his suitcase for a trip to Paris with his parents, 
Teddy decided to secretly slip into the suitcase, eager to discover this wonderful city. The next day, when Ethan's family arrived in Paris, Nunu's discovered in wonderment the beauty of the City of Lights. He jumped out of the suitcase and found himself lost in an unfamiliar place while Ethan and his family went to visit the magnificent Parisian monuments. Nunoz was brave and determined to find Ethan, so he embarked on a quest to find a way to reunite with him. Nunoz wandered the streets of Paris, searching for clues to find his way back. During his journey, he encountered a kitten named Eclair, who instantly became his friend. Eclair was a mischievous and inventive kitten, and he promised to help Nunoz find Ethan. Together, they explored alleyways and boulevards, visited parks and gardens in the magnificent city. One day, while they were at the top of the Eiffel Tower, Nunoz and Eclair spotted Ethan down below, enjoying a boat ride on the Seine with his parents. Full of excitement, Nunoz wanted to go down immediately, but Eclair realised it was impossible without risking getting hurt. So they decided to go to a second-hand toy market where they hoped to find a solution. At the market, the two buddies discovered an old, abandoned toy bike. Eclair, being the clever mind he was, came up with the idea of fixing it and using it to find Ethan. They worked together, putting all their energy into it until the toy bike came back to life. Nunoz and Eclair jumped on it and started pedalling as fast as they could. With their new vehicle, they followed Ethan's boat along the Seine, crossing bridges and docks, skillfully dodging obstacles. Finally, thanks to their perseverance, they managed to reach Ethan and his family, who welcomed them with joy and astonishment. Nunoz was thrilled to be back in his cosy home and to tell Ethan about all of the adventures he had experienced in Paris. Touched by Nunoz's bravery, Ethan promised to never leave him alone again. They continued to be the best of friends, exploring new territories and cherishing memorable moments together. And so, Teddy the teddy bear realised that no matter the difficulties encountered along the way, Sincere friendship and perseverance allow one to overcome all obstacles. And from that day on, Teddy and Ethan continue to live wonderful and unforgettable stories, together forever. Leia's Magical Journey in the Starry Sky Once upon a time, in the African savannah, there was a beautiful giraffe named Leah. Leah was different from the other giraffes because she dreamed of traveling in the sky to visit the stars. She felt drawn to the beauty and magic of the universe and couldn't help but look up at the sky every night. One evening, while the sky was clear and the stars were shining brightly, Leah decided to fulfill her dream. She began to run at full speed, her neck stretched towards the sky, jumping higher and higher. To her great surprise, her paws lifted off the ground, and she started to soar into the air. Leah was amazed to see the savannah stretching out beneath her as she rose higher and higher into the sky. Soon, she reached the first stars and began to greet them one by one fascinated by their brilliance and splendor. As she continued her journey through the constellations, Leia met a family of shooting stars who offered to accompany her on her journey. Together, they traveled through distant galaxies, discovering strange and wonderful worlds. Leia was so absorbed in these new experiences that she soon forgot about her house and family left on Earth. But fortunately, the shooting stars watched over her and regularly reminded her where she came from. After many adventures, 
Leah began to feel a little nostalgic and decided it was time to go back home. The shooting stars accompanied her to the end of their journey, offering her a final grand spectacle before bringing her back to Earth. When Leah returned to the savannah, she was warmly welcomed by her family and friends, who were happy to see her again. She then told them all about her adventures in the sky and among the stars, showing them the wonders she had discovered. Since that day, Leah has never forgotten her incredible journey in the sky. Every night, she gazes at the stars with a smile on her face, remembering the magical moments she experienced. And even though she can no longer travel in the sky, she knows that nothing can ever take away the beauty and magic of this infinite universe. The Icy Adventures of Brave Penguin Pinga Once upon a time, in a distant land, there was a little penguin named Pingu. Pingu was a curious and adventurous penguin who loved to explore new places. One day, while playing near the ice floe, he wandered a little too far and found himself lost in a vast ice desert. Pingu panicked and started walking, hoping to find his way back. But the more he walked, the more he realized that he was truly lost. The ice desert was enormous, and Pingu could see no sign of life around him. He felt alone and scared, but he refused to lose hope. He started shouting for help, hoping that someone would hear him and come to rescue him. But unfortunately, no one responded to his calls. Pingu then decided to keep walking, hoping to find a way out of this ice desert. He walked for hours, getting more tired with each passing minute. But he refused to give up. Suddenly, in the distance, he saw a familiar shape. It was a small colony of penguins who lived on another part of the ice floe. Pingu felt immense relief wash over his body. He started running towards the colony, hoping to finally find some warmth and comfort. The other penguins warmly welcomed him and helped him regain his strength. Pingu told them about his adventure, and they were all impressed by his bravery and determination. The penguins decided to bring Pingu back home, guiding him through the ice floe. They walked for hours, but eventually they arrived at the place where Pingu had gotten lost. Pingu thanked them from the bottom of his heart and promised not to venture so far again. Since that day, Pingu had become a hero among his kind. He was admired for his strength, bravery, and ability to overcome obstacles. And even though the icy desert remained a dangerous place, Pingu knew he could count on his friends to help him in times of need. And so, Pingu lived happily and safely among his own, always remembering his adventure in the ice desert and everything he had learned. Because sometimes, you have to get lost to find yourself, and Pingu had experienced that. Remy the Reindeer and the Northern Lights, an adventure in Iceland. Once upon a time, in the land of reindeer, there was a reindeer named Remy. Remy was a very curious and adventurous reindeer. One day, while he was walking in the forest, he heard about a magical and mysterious place, Iceland. Intrigued by this distant land, Remy decided to go on a journey to discover it. He asked his reindeer friends for advice, and they showed him the way to follow. After a long journey through snowy mountains and icy valleys, Remy finally arrived in Iceland. 
Upon his arrival, he was amazed by the wild and majestic beauty of the country. The immense glaciers, majestic volcanoes, and spectacular waterfalls left him speechless. But what fascinated him the most were the northern lights that illuminated the sky every night. Remy spent days and nights exploring Iceland, discovering breathtaking landscapes and meeting amazing animals such as polar foxes and seals. But what struck him the most was his encounter with the elves, these mysterious beings that inhabited the mountains of Iceland. The elves were very kind to Remy and told him fabulous stories about their country. One evening, while resting near a frozen lake, Remy saw a more dazzling northern lights than ever before. The vibrant and shimmering colors danced in the sky, forming mesmerizing swirls. Remy felt transported to another world, a world where magic and beauty reigned supreme. He promised himself to come back to Iceland every winter to admire the northern lights once again and to reunite with his elf friends. And so every year, when the snow covered the mountains, Remy the reindeer would make his way back to Iceland. And each time, he was amazed by the splendor of this unique country and the magic of the northern lights that lit up the sky with their enchanting colors. And so Remy the reindeer lived many adventures in Iceland, discovering new secrets and wonders each day. And even though he traveled far from home, he knew that Iceland would always be his second home, a place where he felt in tune with nature and in communion with the magic of the world. And thus, Remy the reindeer lived happily and fulfilled, sharing his love for Iceland with all those who crossed his path. The Adventures of Marcel the Sheep in China on the Trail of the Great Wall Marcel the Sheep was a curious character. He loved exploring new places and discovering different cultures. One day, while walking in the mountains, he spotted the famous Great Wall of China in the distance. Intrigued, he decided to go there to learn more about this distant country. On the way, Marcel met many animals and local residents who told him exciting stories about China. He learned that this country was rich in traditions and history, and he was eager to discover all of this with his own eyes. When he arrived at the Great Wall, Marcel was impressed by its magnitude and beauty. He felt very small next to this enormous construction that stretched as far as the eye could see. He decided to walk along the entire wall to learn more about its history and the people who had built it. During his stroll on the Great Wall, Marcel met tourists from all over the world who had come to admire this architectural masterpiece. He befriended some of them and shared his discoveries about Chinese culture with them. Marcel was also amazed by the beauty of the landscapes that were open to him from the wall. He could admire the mountains, the terraced rice fields, and the traditional villages below. He truly felt privileged to be able to live this unique experience. As Marcel walked along, he met local artisans who introduced him to traditional Chinese art. He learned how to handle the brush and write Chinese characters, which fascinated him greatly. He discovered a new passion for calligraphy and decided to delve deeper into it. Marcel befriended a little Chinese lamb named Li Li. Together, they traveled along the Great Wall and shared wonderful moments of discovery and amazement. Li Li taught him traditional Chinese songs and Marcel danced with her to the sound of drums and flutes. Marcel was also invited to taste Chinese culinary specialties. He discovered exotic and spicy flavors that awakened his taste buds. 
he enjoyed stir-fried noodles, steamed dumplings and roasted duck, all washed down with fragrant tea. After spending several days exploring the Great Wall, Marcel realised how fascinating and rich in treasures China was. He promised himself to come back one day to continue discovering this magical country and its warm-hearted inhabitants. Before leaving the wall, Marcel climbed its steps one last time and watched the sunset on the distant horizon. He felt immense gratitude fill his heart and vowed to forever keep these precious memories of his trip to China in his mind. Back home, Marcel told all his animal friends about the incredible adventures he had experienced in China. He shared with them his discoveries about Chinese culture and invited them to dream of travelling to new horizons themselves. And this is how Marcel the sheep lived happy days, enriched by this unique experience and forever imbued with the wonders he had discovered while walking along the Great Wall of China. Simba and the Moais, a magical adventure on Easter Island. Once upon a time, on Easter Island, there was a brave and curious lion named Simba. He had heard about the mysterious statues called Moais and was determined to find them. Simba set off, walking through the lush vegetation of the island, his eyes shining with excitement at the thought of discovering these ancient monuments. As he continued on his journey, Simba encountered many inhabitants of the island who spoke to him about the legends surrounding the Moais. Some said they had been carved by ancestors, while others claimed they were magical protectors of the island. Intrigued, the lion continued his exploration, determined to uncover the mystery behind these enigmatic statues. After days of walking, Simba finally arrived near a field of moais lined up next to each other. He couldn't help but marvel at their grandeur and majesty. But suddenly, he noticed something strange. The moais seemed to be moving as if they were alive. Intrigued, the lion approached slowly, observing in awe as the statues came to life before his eyes. The Moais began to speak, each telling their story and connection with Easter Island. They revealed ancient secrets and forgotten legends, captivating Simba's attention. He spent hours listening to their fascinating tales, absorbed by the magic emanating from these mysterious monuments. Over the days, Simba became friends with the Moai, sharing unique and precious moments with them. Together, they explored the island, discovering hidden treasures and unsuspected wonders. The lion realized he had found more than just stone statues, but beings with extraordinary wisdom and magic. Finally, time passed, and Simba had to resign himself to leaving Easter Island, leaving behind his new friends, the Moais. But he took with him unforgettable memories and valuable lessons that he would cherish forever. And every time he looked up at the sky, he would remember those magical days spent on the island of the Moai, where the lion had discovered the true strength of friendship and magic that can be found in the most unexpected places. Discovering Snow, the Adventures of Kiko the Koala Once upon a time, in the beautiful eucalyptus forest, there was a little koala named Kiko. Kiko was a very curious and adventurous koala. He loved to explore the surroundings of his home and discover new places. One day, while he was walking in the forest, he saw something he had never seen before. Snow. 
Kiko was very excited to explore this new element and decided to venture into the snow. He jumped from branch to branch, venturing deeper into the snowy forest. At first he found it amusing to feel the cold snow under his paws, but soon he realized it was getting colder and colder. He began to shiver and tremble, wondering if he had made a mistake by venturing into the snow. But Kiko was a determined koala, and he decided to continue despite the cold. As he advanced, he met other animals from the forest who seemed more accustomed to the snow than he was. They explained to him that snow was a natural phenomenon that occurred every winter in this region. Kiko was amazed by the beauty of the snow and the magic it brought to the forest. He then decided to make the most of this unique experience and discover everything that the snow had to offer him. He had fun making snowmen, sliding down snowy slopes and tasting the snowflakes falling from the sky. He also discovered that snow was very useful for hiding from predators and for protecting himself from the cold. He felt more and more comfortable in this new environment and made friends with the other animals in the forest who shared his fascination for the snow. The days passed and the snow began to melt, making way for spring. Kiko was happy to have experienced this unique adventure and to discover a new aspect of the nature around him. He promised himself to come back next winter to enjoy the snow again and all that it offered him. And so, Kiko the koala continued to explore the forest and live new adventures, always driven by his curiosity and thirst for discovery. Pablo the Panda's Journey in Search of Friendship Once upon a time, there was a panda named Pablo who lived in the mountains of China. Pablo was a solitary panda. He didn't have many friends and often felt lonely. One day, he decided to go on an adventure to find friends who would share his company. He set off, travelling through the mountains and valleys, searching for new companions. On his way, Pablo met various animals, but none of them seemed to be potential friends. He encountered mischievous monkeys, singing birds and shy rabbits, but none of them seemed to be the perfect companion for Pablo. He was beginning to lose hope and felt increasingly lonely. Pablo decided to continue his journey and headed towards a dense forest. He hoped to find animals closer to him, pandas like him who would share his interests and personality. As he made his way through the forest, he began to hear strange noises. He moved closer to see what was happening and discovered a group of pandas playing and having fun. Pablo was thrilled to meet other pandas like himself. He joined them and got to know them. They were all very friendly and welcoming, and Pablo finally felt at home among them. He spent hours playing with his new friends, laughing and sharing stories. The days passed and Pablo stayed with his new friends in the forest. They explored the surroundings together, discovering new places and new adventures. Pablo finally felt happy and fulfilled, surrounded by companions who loved him and accepted him as he was. But one day, a big bad wolf appeared in the forest and threatened to attack them. The pandas were terrified, but Pablo stepped forward to protect them. He used his intelligence and courage to thwart the wolf's plans, and eventually they managed to chase him away from the forest. The other pandas were grateful towards Pablo for having saved the situation. They now considered him as a hero, a friend they could rely on in times of need. Pablo was proud of himself and felt even closer to his friends after this ordeal. 
The pandas spent wonderful moments together, exploring nature, playing games and engaging in fun activities. Each day was a new adventure, filled with laughter and joy. Pablo realized that he had finally found his place, surrounded by friends who loved and respected him. Finally, Pablo decided to stay with his new friends in the forest. He had finally found happiness and the warmth of friendship, and he knew he never wanted to be alone again. The pandas lived happily together for the rest of their days, sharing precious moments and unforgettable memories. And so, Pablo the panda travelled across China to find friends, and finally found the happiness and friendship he had been searching for so long. And they all lived happily, surrounded by the love and camaraderie that bound them together. Olaf and the Treasure of Happiness at the North Pole Once upon a time, at the North Pole, there was a snowman named Olaf. He lived in a small village made of ice and snow, surrounded by his friends, the penguins, the reindeer, and the elves. One day, Olaf heard about a hidden treasure somewhere in the frozen expanses of the North Pole. He decided to go in search of it, because he was certain that this treasure could make all the villagers happy. Equipped with his red felt hat and striped scarf, Olaf set off. He crossed ice fields, imposing glaciers and raging snowstorms. But nothing could stop his determination to find the treasure. During his journey, he encountered strange creatures such as singing seals and juggling polar bears. Finally, after days of exploration, Olaf arrived in front of a snowy cave. He entered inside and discovered a real treasure glittering with ice crystals and snow pearls. He was amazed by so much beauty and wealth. But beyond the material aspect, it was the happiness that this treasure provided which made it so precious. Olaf decided to bring the treasure back to his village to share with all his friends. The penguins and the reindeer were thrilled to discover the wonders contained in the treasure chest. The elves, on the other hand, began to dance and sing with joy. The entire village was filled with happiness and gratitude towards Olaf. From now on, the little snowman was considered a hero in the eyes of everyone. He had shown courage, generosity and friendship by sharing his treasure. The villagers organized a grand celebration in honor of Olaf, with dances, games, and a sumptuous banquet. It was the most beautiful celebration the North Pole had ever seen. From that day on, Olaf was respected and loved by all. He spent his days playing with his friends, building snowmen, and telling stories by the fireplace. The treasure had brought a wealth much greater than gold and diamonds, that of friendship and shared happiness. And so ends the story of Olaf, the snowman who was searching for treasure at the North Pole. A tale of bravery, generosity and friendship that warms the hearts even in the midst of winter. Because sometimes, the greatest treasure is right in front of us, in the bonds that connect us to one another. Pepito Conquering Paris, the Gingerbread Man in Search of Adventure Once upon a time, there was Pepito, the most famous gingerbread man in the whole world. He lived in a small bakery in Russia, where he was cherished and loved by all the villagers. One day, while resting on a shelf, a thieving seagull grabbed him in its beak and flew away with him. Pepito soon found himself far away from home, flying over mountains and forests before finally landing 
in the beautiful city of Paris. Upon his arrival, Pepito was amazed by the beauty and liveliness of the French capital. He walked through the cobblestone streets, greeting passers-by and discovering new horizons. He encountered the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, and Notre Dame Cathedral, allowing himself to be swept away by the magic of the City of Lights. But Pepito felt like something was missing. He thirsted for adventure and new encounters. One day, as he was walking along the Seine, Pepito heard a familiar voice calling out to him. It was a little girl with blonde curls who had recognized the gingerbread man. Her name was Juliet, and she was a passionate lover of fantastic stories. Together, they decided to embark on an adventure through the streets of Paris, discovering hidden places and well-kept secrets. They visited the Orsay Museum, strolled through the Luxembourg Gardens, and took a boat tour on the Seine. Pepito felt like he was living unforgettable moments with Juliet, who told him wonderful stories. But their adventure had a specific purpose, to find the thief seagull who had taken Pepito far from home. The days passed, and Pepito began to feel nostalgic for his bakery in Russia. He was excited to reunite with his friends and share his fabulous adventures in Paris. That's when Juliet had a bright idea, organize a party in Pepito's bakery to celebrate his return. All the villagers were invited and each brought cakes and treats in honor of the gingerbread man. The party was grandiose, with dances, games, and endless laughter. Pepito reunited with his friends and emotionally recounted all the adventures he had experienced in Paris. The villagers were proud of their famous bakery and their dear Pepito, who had become a living legend. And so ended the incredible adventure of Pepito, the gingerbread man in Paris, but it will remain etched in memories forever. Oscar's Shooting Star, In Search of the Secret of the Stars Once upon a time, in an enchanted forest, there was a little bear named Oscar. He loved to gaze at the starry sky every night before falling asleep. Despite his small size, Oscar dreamed of touching the stars and discovering their secret. One evening, as he was observing the sky, a shooting star streaked across the heavens at great speed. Oscar couldn't help but follow it with his eyes until it disappeared over the horizon. Intrigued, he decided to go in search of this star, convinced that it could reveal to him the secret of the stars. With determination, Oscar set out, following the path traced by the shooting star. As he continued on his journey, Oscar met many animals who helped him in his quest, they told him legends about the stars and gave him advice to continue his path. Oscar felt more and more confident and grateful towards his new friends. He realised that the magic of the stars was present everywhere around him, in nature, in the animals, and even within himself. He finally understood that the stars were a symbol of dreams and hope, a guide to finding his way in this world. After long hours of walking, Oscar finally arrived at the top of a mountain. There, he discovered a breathtaking sight, a sky illuminated by thousands of sparkling stars. Fascinated, he began to spin around, his eyes shining with wonder. The stars seemed to dance for him, telling endless stories of love and magic. Oscar felt in harmony with the universe, connected to something greater than himself. Suddenly, a soft voice was heard behind him. It was an old wise owl who was smiling at him tenderly. She said to him, Oscar, you have found the secret of the stars. They are the reflection of our deepest dreams, of our purest desires. 
By observing them with your heart, you can understand their language and fulfill all your wishes. Oscar thanked her for her wise words and promised himself never to forget this life lesson. Back in the forest, Oscar told his adventures to the other animals. He spoke to them about the magic of the stars and the wisdom of the old owl. They were all amazed by his stories and began to look at the sky with a new perspective. From then on, every night, Oscar and his friends gathered to gaze at the stars, share stories and dream of a better tomorrow. And so the enchanted forest became a place of magic and harmony where the stars shone brighter than ever, guiding the steps of dreamers and travellers in search of happiness. Oscar, who had become a symbol of courage and perseverance, continued to watch over his friends and inspire them to pursue their dreams. For he had understood that true magic resided within each of us, in our ability to believe in the impossible and to make our wildest dreams come true. And thus the story of Oscar the Bear and the magic of the stars was passed down from generation to generation, illuminating the hearts and minds of all those who had the courage to follow them. The Extraordinary Journey of Simba from the Savannah to South America Once upon a time, in the African savannah, there was a young lion named Simba. Simba was a brave and curious lion, always in search of new adventures. One day, while exploring the vast expanses of his native savanna, he suddenly found himself separated from his family. Lost and disoriented, Simba didn't know how to find his way back to his home. He therefore decided to embark on an adventure to find his family. He travelled through numerous lands, crossing dense forests and tumultuous rivers. Continuing westward, Simba discovered a bridge that led him to an unknown place, South America. On the other side of the bridge, Simba was in Mexico. He discovered a land rich in culture and exquisite flavours. The locals, amazed by the majesty of the lion, offered him delicious tacos and a map to help him reach his next country, Peru. In Peru, Simba made the acquaintance of gentle alpacas and discovered the magnificent Inca ruins. Their grandeur and mystery impressed him, but he knew he couldn't linger. He still had a long journey ahead to complete. Crossing borders with ease, Simba found himself in Chile. He was fascinated by the majestic Andes Mountains and the vast desert plains of Atacama. The sunset was breathtakingly beautiful, but Simba knew he had to continue his journey. Argentina awaited him with its vast grasslands. Simba mingled with the gauchos and crossed the famous Pampa in search of his family. The wind in his mane reminded him of the gentle breeze of his native savanna, and he could almost smell the scent of the animals that populated these lands. Finally, Simba arrived in Brazil, land of exuberant beauty. He experienced the joyful dance of samba, and was captivated by the enchanting sounds of the Amazon rainforest. The richness of the ecosystems and the diversity of the animals fascinated him, but he couldn't linger, as he still had one last journey to complete. Simba's long journey was finally coming to an end. After an incredible trip across South America, he finally managed to find his way back to the vast plains of his native savannah. The joy of reuniting with his family and friends was indescribable. Simba then realized that even though he was curious and adventurous, his place was at home with his loved ones. 
he was happy to regain the serenity and love of the African savannah. He promised to never wander so far away again, knowing that true happiness was right in front of his eyes. And so, Simba the lion, thanks to his determination and courage, returned to his native savannah with an incredible story to tell. His adventures in South America would remain etched in his memory forever and would inspire future generations of brave and curious animals to explore the world around them. The Extraordinary Adventures of Remy, the Traveling Reindeer Once upon a time, in a distant snowy kingdom, there was a reindeer named Remy. Remy was known to be the fastest and most daring of all of Santa's reindeer. One day, while he was bored in the fir forest, Remy decided to go on an adventure. He had heard of Africa, a distant and mysterious continent, and wanted to discover it for himself. Without wasting time, Remy gathered his courage and embarked on an epic journey through the different countries of Africa. He crossed arid deserts, vast savannas, and lush forests. He encountered wild animals such as lions, giraffes, and even elephants. Remy was fascinated by the diversity of African fauna and flora. During his journey, Remy met new friends, like a mischievous monkey named Coco and an elegant antelope named Lila. Together, they explored the wonders of Africa, from the pyramids of Egypt to the Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. Remy was amazed by the beauty and grandeur of this continent so different from his own. But everything was not always easy for Remy and his friends. They had to face dangers such as sandstorms, predatory animals, and even a tribe of formidable hunters. Fortunately, Remy was quick and cunning and he always managed to find a solution to get out of precarious situations. After long weeks of adventures, Remy realized that he had reached the end of his journey in Africa. He had discovered so many wonderful things and lived unforgettable moments. He was grateful to have been able to share this unique experience with his new friends, Coco and Leela. The time had come for Remy to return home, to be with Santa Claus and the other reindeer. He left Africa with a heavy heart, but filled with precious memories that he would cherish forever. As he returned to the snowy fir forest, Remy knew that he was a different reindeer, wiser and braver thanks to his incredible journey. And every year, during the Christmas festivities, Remy would tell his reindeer friends about the incredible adventures he had experienced in Africa. They listened attentively, their eyes shining with admiration, and dreamed in turn of setting out to discover the world. Thanks to Remy, they had understood that adventure was everywhere, they just needed the courage to seize it. The Brave Journey of Bingo Adventures of a Lost Cocker Spaniel in the Desert Once upon a time, there was an adorable cocker spaniel named Bingo. Bingo lived with his family in a beautiful house in the countryside. He was always happy and playful, bringing joy to everyone around him. One day, while he was playing in the garden, he escaped through the open door. Bingo was running breathlessly, not really knowing where he was going. He was so excited about this unexpected adventure that he didn't realize he had wandered away from his home. When he finally arrived at an unknown place, Bingo realized he was lost. The poor dog was terrified. He found himself in a vast desert with no one to ask for help. The sun was scorching and no trees or shade could be seen on the horizon. Bingo then started walking aimlessly, hoping to find a path that would bring him back home. As the days went by, Bingo started to weaken. He was thirsty and hungry, but he refused to give up. He told himself that his family was surely actively searching for him and that they would eventually find him. 
In the evening, as Bingo desperately searched for a place to rest, he saw a small light shining in the distance. Filled with hope, he started running towards that glow. But the closer he got, the further it seemed to move away. Bingo did not get discouraged and continued to persevere. He was ready to do anything to find his family and the warmth of his home again. Finally, after long hours of walking, he arrived near this mysterious light. What he saw then left him stunned. The light was coming from a small oasis hidden in the desert. A stream flowed peacefully, surrounded by lush trees and colourful flowers. He couldn't believe his eyes. Bingo rushed towards the water and drank eagerly to quench his thirst. Then he lay down in the fresh grass, exhausted but happy. He thought to himself that this oasis was like a gift from destiny, a reward for his perseverance. At the same time, his family was anxious. They searched everywhere, putting up posters and questioning the neighbours, but Bingo remained missing. They didn't know that he was crossing the desert and experiencing an extraordinary adventure. Finally, after several days, Bingo's parents received a call from someone who had found their dog in the desert. They couldn't contain their joy and rushed to retrieve him. When they saw Bingo, they were stunned. Their loyal companion appeared stronger and wiser than before. Bingo told them about his incredible journey through the desert and how he had found the oasis. From that day on, Bingo was treated as a hero. His family pampered him, fed him, and loved him even more. And when he rested in the garden near his favourite tree, Bingo emotionally reminisced about his great adventure in the desert, graciously rewarded by this miraculous oasis. The Magical Lessons from Morgan, A Kind-Hearted Witch at School Once upon a time, in a small distant village, there was a witch named Morgan. Unlike the witches we see in fairy tales, Morgan was a kind-hearted witch who loved to help others. One day, Morgan decided that she wanted to use her magical powers to teach the children of the village. She then decided to go to the village school to apply for a position as a teacher. The villagers were surprised to see a witch running as a candidate to be the new school teacher. Some were sceptical, wondering if a witch could truly teach in a proper way. But Morgan was determined to prove to everyone that she could be an excellent teacher. Over time, the children of the village began to adore Morgan. She had a unique way of teaching by using magical spells to make lessons more fun and interactive. The children learned quickly and joyfully, and parents were amazed at their children's progress. Morgan also organised special activities for the children, such as flying lessons on a magic broom or magical potion experiments. The children were thrilled and eager to go to school every day. But one day, an evil wizard named Malphus arrived in the village. He was jealous of Morgan's success and decided to play a trick on her. He cast a spell on the school, turning all the books into frogs. The children were terrified and Morgan was desperate. But Morgan didn't let herself be discouraged. She asked for the children's help, who started looking for a solution. Eventually, they discovered that the only way to break the spell was to sing a magical song in harmony. The children started singing with all their heart, and soon the books turned back into books. Morgan was so grateful to the children and thanked them from the bottom of her heart. 
Malthus was defeated and driven out of the village. Morgan and the children celebrated their victory with a magical party where they danced, sang, and ate enchanted sweets. From that day on, Morgan continued to teach the children of the village with even more passion and dedication. She was a beloved and respected teacher, and the children would always remember the year when a witch became their beloved school teacher. And they all lived happily ever after and learned a lot from Morgan's magical lessons. The end. Bingo to the rescue of his stolen ball in Paris. Once upon a time, there was a nice cocker spaniel named Bingo who lived in a small town in America. Bingo was a curious and adventurous dog, always looking for new adventures. One day, Bingo found a colourful ball in his owner's garden and decided to take it with him on his next journey. Bingo was very excited about the idea of travelling and decided to go to Paris, the city of love and lights. He took a direct flight to the French capital and soon found himself wandering the picturesque streets of Paris. Bingo was amazed by the beauty of the city and all the new smells and sensations he was discovering. As he was walking in a beautiful park, Bingo started playing with his ball, joyfully throwing it in the air. Unfortunately, a big bird suddenly came and flew away with the ball. Bingo was completely devastated. His favourite ball had disappeared. Determined to find his ball, Bingo set off in search of the bird thief. He questioned the pigeons, sparrows and crows, but no one had seen the bird with his ball. Bingo began to despair, wondering if he would ever see his beloved ball again. Fortunately, Bingo met a kind alley cat who offered his help. The cat knew that the thieving bird had its nest at the top of the Eiffel Tower and was ready to accompany Bingo to retrieve his ball. Together, they climbed the endless steps of the Eiffel Tower to the top. Arriving at the top, Bingo and the cat spotted the bird thief playing with the colourful ball. Bingo started barking furiously, which frightened the bird who dropped the ball. Bingo caught his ball in mid-air and couldn't believe his luck. He was so happy to find his ball that he even forgot to be angry at the bird thief. The alley cat and Bingo descended the Eiffel Tower together, proud to have succeeded in retrieving the lost ball. Bingo warmly thanked his new friend and promised that he would always be grateful for his valuable help. The cat smiled and disappeared into the streets of Paris, leaving Bingo to happily stroll with his found ball. Thus, Bingo the Cocker Spaniel learned that it was important to show perseverance and courage to overcome obstacles. He also understood that friendship and solidarity could be powerful forces in difficult times. Bingo returned home, knowing that he had lived an unforgettable adventure in Paris and that he was ready to face new adventures with his beloved ball by his side. In Search of His Home, The Moving Story of Bingo the Cocker Spaniel Bingo the Cocker Spaniel was a small, playful and curious dog who loved to wander the bustling streets of Paris. One day, while he was strolling near the Eiffel Tower, he saw a black kitten venturing into a dark alley. Intrigued, Bingo decided to follow. But the further he went, the more he realised he didn't recognise the surroundings anymore. He found himself completely lost, without any landmarks, in the middle of the crowded streets of the capital. Panicked, he started barking non-stop, attracting the attention of passers-by, who were surprised to see such a small dog so agitated. Bingo was trying to find his way back, but all the streets looked the same and he didn't know where to go anymore. Fortunately, a kind lady noticed the distress of the little dog and decided to help him. 
she knelt in front of him and spoke to him gently, reassuring him with her soothing voice. Bingo felt confident and allowed himself to be guided by this caring individual. The lady took him in her arms and brought him back to her apartment, where she fed and gave him something to drink. Bingo felt safe and thanked the lady by licking her hand. She smiled at him and petted his head, telling him he could stay with her for as long as he wanted. The days passed and Bingo grew accustomed to his new home. He discovered new places in Paris with the lady who walked him regularly. He played with other animals and made new friends in the neighbourhood. But despite all the comfort of his new life, Bingo felt that something was missing. He started thinking about his home, about his owners, who must be worried about his absence. So he decided to set out in search of his true home. The lady, understanding Bingo's desire to find his family, prepared a small bag with food and a note to explain his journey. She let him go with great sadness, but knowing it was the best thing to do for the little dog. Bingo set out to find his way back, following his instinct and relying on his sense of smell to find his way home. He walked for hours, crossing streets and squares, trying to stop people to ask for help. But despite all his efforts, he couldn't find his way back home. Tired and discouraged, Bingo sat at the foot of the Eiffel Tower, reminiscing about all the good times he had spent in this beautiful city. It was at that moment that he heard a familiar voice calling to him. He looked up and saw his owners, tears in their eyes, searching for him everywhere. The reunion was full of joy and emotion. Bingo jumped for joy as he reunited with his family, happy to be back among his loved ones. His owners hugged him tightly, tears of relief streaming down their faces. Bingo had finally found his way back home and was ready to never stray again. Snowy Adventures of Pablo the Panda Once upon a time, in the lush bamboo forest of Chengdu Mountain, there was a little panda named Pablo. Pablo was a very curious and adventurous panda, always in search of new discoveries and experiences. One winter day, as he was walking in the forest looking for juicy bamboo, Pablo spotted something shiny white in the distance. He approached to get a closer look and realized it was snow. Pablo had never seen snow before, and he was fascinated by its soft and cold texture. He jumped for joy and started playing in the snow, having fun making snowmen and rolling into balls. But suddenly, he realized he was far from home and didn't know how to find his way back in the snowy forest. Pablo started to panic, but he remembered the survival lessons his mom had taught him. He calmed down, took a deep breath, and looked for landmarks to find his way home. He followed the tracks left by other animals in the forest, hoping they would lead him to safety. Night was falling and Pablo was starting to feel cold and hungry. He found shelter under a tree and settled in for the night, curling up in his fur to keep warm. The next morning, he continued on his way, following the tracks in the snow, determined to find his way back. Finally, after a long walk through the snowy forest, Pablo saw a familiar light in the distance. It was his house, with his mom waiting for him at the door. He started running with all his might, excited at the thought of reuniting with his family. His mother saw him coming and took him in her arms, comforting him after his adventure in the snow. Pablo told his mother everything he had seen and experienced, and she was very proud of him for keeping his cool 
and determination. From that day on, Pablo was no longer afraid of the snow. He went out every day to play in the snow, building igloos and having snowball fights with his friends. He had discovered a new aspect of the nature around him, and he was grateful for it. And every winter, when snow fell on the Chengdu mountain, Pablo remembered his adventure and everything he had learned. He had become a stronger and wiser panda thanks to this experience, and he was grateful for every moment spent in this wonderful world of snow. And so Pablo the panda discovered snow and made it a new way of life. Kangoo, the Fearless Kangaroo, An Adventure of Snow and Friendship Once upon a time in the African savanna, there was a little kangaroo named Kangoo. Kangoo was very curious and adventurous. One day he decided to leave the heat of Africa to explore new horizons. He hopped, hopped and hopped until he found himself at the North Pole, a completely different place from what he knew. When he landed, Kangu was surprised by the icy cold and the pristine whiteness of the snow that covered the entire landscape. He had never seen snow before, and it immediately caught his attention. He approached this new substance slowly and felt his paws sink into the fresh snow. Kangu was amazed by what he saw. He happily jumped, leaving little footprints with each bound. The snow was light and cold, but Kangoo never tired of playing with it. He enjoyed rolling snowballs, making snow angels by lying on the ground, and even eating snowflakes, delighting in their sweet taste. While strolling through the snow, Kangoo came across a group of polar animals who were equally intrigued by this exotic kangaroo. Their leader, an old polar bear named Oscar, welcomed Kangoo warmly and told him stories about life in the North Pole. Oscar explained to Kangu how animals in the North Pole adapt to extreme cold and how they hunt for food despite the difficult conditions. Kangu listened attentively and realized that this place was a true marvel of nature. In the company of his new friends, Kangu also learned how to walk on ice without slipping and how to swim in the freezing waters of the Arctic Ocean. He even discovered a new way of moving by jumping on the ice, an experience that gave him thrilling excitement. Over time, Kangu became an expert in polar life. He knew where to find food and how to build a shelter to protect himself from the cold. He was respected by all the animals for his determination and zest for life. One day, while Kangu was taking a walk near the ice floe, he heard a strange noise coming from the frozen water. He approached slowly and discovered a little seal trapped in a hole. Without hesitation, Kangu rushed to help the seal by using his strength and agility to free it from its tricky situation. The seal, grateful, jumped for joy and thanked Kangu for saving him. From that day on, Kangu became a hero in the North Pole. Animals admired him and cheered for him wherever he went. But despite all her happiness, Kangu was starting to feel the nostalgia for her home in Africa. She therefore decided to say goodbye to her polar friends and return to the savannah. The polar animals wept for Kangu's departure, but they understood his need to find his way back home. They accompanied him to the border of the North Pole, watching him move away with joyful leaps. Kangu returned home, jumping as much as he could, carrying with him unforgettable memories from his great adventure in the North Pole. He was grateful for having discovered the snow and for having met such incredible friends. 
and while Kangu was jumping in the African plains, the polar animals in the North Pole remembered their time spent with the fearless kangaroo, hoping that one day he would come back to visit them again. The Extraordinary Adventures of Pan Pan in Bois Vert. Once upon a time, in the lovely Bois Vert forest, there was a little rabbit named Pampan. Pampan was a very curious and adventurous rabbit, always on the lookout for new discoveries and adventures. One day, while he was walking in the forest, he heard a distress cry. He immediately headed towards the source of the noise and found a little turtle trapped in a trap. Without hesitation, Pampan started digging and freed the turtle. Grateful, the turtle said to him, Thank you so much, Pampan. You are a true hero. Pampan blushed with pleasure and smiled at her. Together, they decided to embark on an adventure and explore the Bois Vert forest. During their journey, they met a family of squirrels who showed them a secret path leading to a mysterious cave. Intrigued, Pampan and the turtle decided to explore the cave. Inside, they discovered a shining treasure of jewels and gold coins. But suddenly, a dragon appeared and blocked their way. Pan Pan and the turtle had to show courage and ingenuity to escape the dragon. Thanks to their cleverness, they managed to leave the cave unharmed. They continued their journey and met a family of rabbits who invited them to share a feast in their burrow. Pampan and the tortoise were delighted by this warm encounter and spent an unforgettable evening dancing and singing with their new friends. The next morning they resumed their journey with light hearts and filled with wonderful memories. As they were crossing a turbulent river, Pampan saw a frog in distress. Without hesitation, he jumped into the water to rescue her. The grateful frog then accompanied them until they reached the exit of the forest. Once outside, Pampan and the turtle turned back to bid farewell to their friends in the Bois Vert forest. They each went their separate ways, with shining eyes and hearts filled with joy. Pampan then realised that it was friendship and courage that had guided his incredible adventures, and that, thanks to his friends and his determination, he had experienced unforgettable and magical moments. The little rabbit returned home, happy and grateful for all the wonderful encounters and adventures that had dotted his path, and he knew that he had not finished living extraordinary stories in the Bois Vert forest. The Adventures of Toby the Brave Tiger Once upon a time, in the jungle of India, there was a young tiger named Toby. Toby was a curious and adventurous tiger who loved exploring the surroundings of his jungle. One day, as he was walking peacefully, Toby heard strange noises coming from the other side of the river. Curious, he decided to cross over to see what was happening. Upon reaching the other shore, Toby discovered a completely different landscape, imposing mountains, lush green rice fields, and majestic temples. Intrigued by this new discovery, Toby decided to explore this mysterious place. He first went to the mountains, where he encountered playful monkeys and colourful birds. Then, Toby headed towards the rice fields, where he met farmers who were working hard to cultivate their rice. Toby helped them plough the fields, and in return, the farmers offered him a delicious meal. Grateful, Toby decided to stay with them for a while to learn about their way of life. After spending time with the peasants, Toby went to the temples, where he met silent and wise monks. The monks taught him how to meditate and find inner peace. Toby felt more and more peaceful and happy in this peaceful place. 
However, one day, a terrible danger threatened the jungle. A group of poachers had come to capture the animals to sell them on the black market. Toby knew he had to act to save his animal friends. He asked for the help of the monks and peasants to come up with a plan. Together, they came up with a plan to trap the poachers and hand them over to the authorities. Thanks to their bravery and teamwork, they managed to neutralize the poachers and save the jungle from destruction. The animals of the jungle were grateful to Toby for his courage and determination. After saving the jungle, Toby decided to stay in Asia to continue learning and growing. He visited other countries like China, Japan and Thailand, where he met new cultures and made new friends. Toby was happy to be able to explore this new world and help those in need. In the end, Toby realized that his adventure in Asia had been an unforgettable experience that had transformed him into a brave and generous tiger. He decided to return to his original jungle to share his new knowledge and adventures with his animal friends. Toby had become a legend in the jungle, a symbol of courage and determination for all the animals that lived there. And so it was that Toby the tiger discovered Asia and became a hero for all. Baloo and the Wonders of Egypt an enchanted adventure in the jungle. Once upon a time, in the enchanted forest of the jungle, there was a little bear named Baloo. Baloo was a cheerful and adventurous bear who loved to explore new places and make new friends all around the world. One day, Baloo decided it was time to satisfy his curiosity and embark on an adventure into the unknown. He had heard about marvellous monuments in Egypt and was determined to see them with his own eyes. After a long journey, Baloo finally arrived in Egypt, where he was warmly welcomed by the locals. His first stop was in front of the majestic pyramids, with their perfect geometric shapes and captivating mystery. Baloo was amazed by the grandeur of these structures and couldn't help but play hide-and-seek among them. But that wasn't all. Baloo then approached the famous Sphinx, an imposing statue with the head of a man and the body of a lion that had fascinated him for as long as he could remember. He stood in front of it to take a souvenir photo, trying to mimic the same stoic expression as the Sphinx itself. The next day, Baloo set course for the Lighthouse of Alexandria, an ancient architectural wonder that guided sailors through the darkness of the night. Baloo climbed the spiralling steps all the way to the top and was rewarded with a breathtaking view of the sea. He felt so small but filled with joy and gratitude for having seen this marvel of the past with his own eyes. Finally, Baloo visited the Egyptian temples, where he learned the fascinating history of the gods and goddesses who once ruled this land. He listened to numerous legends and even performed a little dance in front of the statues of the ancient Egyptian gods to share his joy with them. After weeks of epic adventures in Egypt, Baloo decided it was time to go back home. He was proud to have visited the pyramids, the Sphinx, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, and the Egyptian temples. But what he carried in his heart was the friendship he had forged with the people of this country who had shown him incredible hospitality and shared their stories with him. Back in the jungle, Baloo told all his animal friends about his incredible adventures in Egypt. They were amazed by his stories 
and also dreamt of travelling and seeing the world. Thus, Baloo became an inspiration for all the animals of the jungle, and together they vowed to always keep an insatiable curiosity for the wonders of the world. And who knows, perhaps one day they would explore new territories together and live adventures just as thrilling as Baloo's in Egypt. And so ends the story of Baloo, the adventurous bear who visited the pyramids of Egypt, the Sphinx, the lighthouse of Alexandria, and the temples. Simba and the Adventure in the Snowy Mountains Once upon a time, in the African savanna, there was a lion cub named Simba. He lived with his family in the majestic Serengeti Reserve. Simba was a curious and adventurous lion cub, always searching for new discoveries. One day, as the sun set on the horizon and the sky adorned itself with golden hues, Simba quietly escaped from the den to embark on an adventure. He trotted happily through the grassy plains, leaping over rocks and jumping over the roots of ancient trees. The night was starting to fall, and a thin layer of snow was gently covering the landscape. Simba, overflowing with excitement at this new perspective, didn't hesitate to venture into the snowy mountain. But suddenly, the snow began to fall heavily, covering everything in its path, including Simba's paw prints. Lost, he had no idea where he was anymore. The young lion cub shivered from the cold, and his little paws were numb. He decided to climb higher towards the summit of the mountain, hoping to see a glimmer that would indicate the way back. Unfortunately, the snow became thicker and thicker, and Simba felt more and more lost. As he continued to climb, a small owl appeared in front of him, illuminated by the moonlight. Are you lost, young cub? asked the owl in a soft voice. Simba, reassured by the presence of this new friend, explained his situation to her. The owl suggested accompanying him to a cave where he could warm up and wait for the storm to calm down. Guided by the wisdom of the owl, they soon reached the cave where a polar bear cub was peacefully resting. Simba timidly approached him and explained his situation. The cub told him that he had lived in these mountains forever and knew the way to get back home. Simba was relieved and felt the warmth of the cave's hearth comforting him. The next morning the storm had cleared and the sun rose, causing the fresh snow to glisten. Simba warmly thanked the polar bear cub and the little owl for their valuable help. Together they set off to explore a magnificent winter landscape. On their way, they encountered other mountain animals who helped them find the way back to the Serengeti. They crossed icy rivers, traversed snow-covered plateaus, and descended steep slopes until they finally reached their familiar landscape. Simba returned home, happy and full of gratitude towards all those who had helped him, he realised that his thirst for adventure must be accompanied by caution and that mutual aid was the most precious treasure. Thus, Simba grew up and became a majestic lion, passing on to his own family the importance of respect and mutual support. And every winter, when the snow covered the Serengeti, the lion cub remembered his adventure in the mountains and all the precious friends who had helped him. The Adventures of Teddy Bear Discovering the Pyramids of Mexico Once upon a time, there was a little teddy bear named Teddy, who dreamed of going on a trip to discover the world. One day, he decided to leave his comfortable room to go on an adventure. He put on his backpack and set off towards new destinations. 
Teddy had heard of the magnificent pyramids of Mexico, and he decided that would be his first destination. Teddy Bear's journey was long and tiring, but he was determined to reach his goal. Finally, after days of walking, he arrived in front of the impressive pyramids of Mexico. The little teddy bear was amazed by the grandeur and beauty of these ancient monuments. Teddy Bear walked around the pyramids, admiring every detail of their architecture. He climbed the steps carefully, not wanting to fall from such a height. From the top of the pyramid, he could see the entire landscape stretching as far as the eye could see. It was truly breathtaking. While exploring the pyramids, Nunoz met a group of tourists from all over the world who had come to visit this historic site. He befriended them and decided to join their guided tour. He listened carefully to the guide's explanations about the history and significance of the pyramids, absorbing every word with fascination. After visiting the main pyramids, Nunoz and his new friends decided to explore the surroundings. They walked around in local markets, tasting delicious Mexican cuisine and buying colourful souvenirs. In the evening, Teddy Bear and his friends settled around a campfire to share stories and songs. The little teddy bear was happy to have met such kind and warm friends. During his stay, Nunoz learned a lot about the culture and history of Mexico. He was impressed by the richness and diversity of this country. He realized how vast and beautiful the world is and promised himself to continue exploring new places. Finally, the dreaded moment arrived. It was time for Nunoz to leave the pyramids of Mexico and continue his journey. He said goodbye to his friends with a heavy heart, but he was grateful for this wonderful experience. As Nunoz resumed the road, he felt joyful and full of energy. He knew that many adventures were still waiting for him, and he was ready to face them with courage and determination. And so, the little teddy bear continued on his journey, ready to discover new horizons and experience new, extraordinary adventures. Pingu and the Wonders of the Iceberg Pingu was a small and curious penguin, always ready for an adventure. One fine day, he made up his mind to explore the ice flow, a place he had never been to before. With his friends Pingo and Pinga by his side, they set off on a journey into the unknown. Their first encounter was with the polar bear family. The little penguins were a bit scared at first, but they quickly realised that the bears were actually very kind. They even gave them some advice on the best way to navigate on the ice floes. As they continued their journey, Pingu and his friends came face to face with a group of seals. The seals were very entertaining and were performing somersaults in the water. Pingu, Pingo and Pinga couldn't help but laugh as they watched them basking in the sun. As they were crossing an ice field, the penguins noticed a colony of penguins. The penguins were highly organised and seemed to have their own well-structured society. They showed the penguins how to build a shelter on the ice, which would be essential for the cold nights. The days went by, and Pingu discovered more and more wonders on the ice floe. One morning, they came across an Arctic fox who told them thrilling stories about life in the Arctic. Pingu was captivated by these tales and realised how incredible nature was. As they continued their journey, Pingu and his friends came across walruses, seabirds and even whales swimming in the distance. Each encounter provided them with a new perspective on the diversity of Arctic wildlife. One day, while they were on the ice floe, Pingu spotted a shooting star in the sky. 
he decided to make a wish to see the northern lights. He had heard that it was a magical spectacle that illuminated the night sky with shimmering colours. Pingu, Pingo and Pinga spent the night waiting for the northern lights, full of hope. Suddenly, the sky lit up in green and pink, forming undulating waves like those of the sea. Pingu was amazed by what he saw. It was even more beautiful than in his dreams. The next day, Pingu and his friends knew it was time to go back home. They had experienced so many adventurous moments, met so many new friends, and discovered extraordinary wonders on the ice floe. They knew that these memories would remain etched in their hearts forever. They said goodbye to all their new friends and took the path back. The ice floe was gradually moving away, but Pingu's spirit of discovery was still very much alive. He knew that he would continue to seek new adventures, even beyond the ice floe. Upon their return home, Pingu, Pingo and Pinga shared their stories with their family and friends. They showed the photos they had taken and the souvenirs they had brought back. Everyone was fascinated by Pingu and his friends' incredible adventures on the ice floe. And so, the story of Pingu the penguin and his visit to the ice floe became famous throughout the world of Arctic animals. Every penguin, whale, arctic fox and penguin eagerly awaited the day when they could explore the ice floe in their turn, inspired by Pingu's tales. The ice floe was a magical place, filled with discoveries and wonders, ready to welcome adventurers like Pingu and his friends on each new visit.